Hello and welcome, exponentials and logarithms. Uh, if b is a real number and n is a non-negative integer, we define b to the power n is equal to 1 if n is 0, b to the power 0 is 1, and it's the multiplication of b by itself n times if n greater or equal than 1. Here are a few examples. 3 to the power 0 is 1. Negative 5 to the power 0 is 1. 2 to the power 3 is 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 3 to the power 2 is 3 times 3 is 9. See, this, those are not equal. Negative 2 to the power 5 is negative 2 times negative 2 five times, and you get negative 32. 1 half to the power 4 is one half times one half times one half times one half, you get one over 16. Now, what is the n, nth root of a real number b? And n is a uh, uh, positive integer, and b is real number. So we define b to the power one n as being the nth root of b. If this is equal to y, this means y to the power n is equal to b. y to the power n is equal to b. So b to the power 1 over n is the positive solution of the positive solution if y to the power n equals b has plus or minus solutions. And it's undefined in R if y to the power n equals to b has no real solutions. Here are a few examples. 16 to the power 1 half is 4. Why? Because 4 squared is equal to 16. 1 eighth to the power 1 third is 2, because 2 to the power 3 is 8. Negative 64 to the power 1 third is negative 4, because negative 4 to the power 3 is negative 64. 2 to the power 1 half, that square root of 2, is approximately this number. Uh, 1 over 25 to the power 1 half is 1 over 5, because if you take 1 over 5, square it, you get 1 over 25. Negative 60 to the power 1 half is undefined, because y square equals to negative 16. Negative 16 has no solution in R. Now, positive rational power, uh, m and n are integers, and n is different than zero, b is a real number. We define b to the power m over n as being b to the power one n, which we defined earlier, to the power m, which also we defined earlier. Or, and that is the same as p to the power m to the power one over n. Here are, here's an example. 25 to the power 3 over 2 is 25 to the power 1 half to the power 3. 25 to the power 1 half, that square root of 25 is 5. 5 to the power 3 is 125. 25 cubed to the power 1 half. 25 cubed is 15,625. You take the square root of it, you get 125, which, are, which is the same as, as here. Now, negative exponent power, b to the power x is equal to 1 over b to the power negative x. So x, 5 to the power negative 2 is 1 over 5 squared is 1 over 25. 25 to the power negative 3 over 2 is 1 over 25 to the power 3 over 2 is equal to 1 over 125. We calculated this earlier and we found this to be 125. Here are the properties of exponentials, and those are important because we are going to be using them for the properties of algorithms, of logarithms. Uh, now, A, B, X, Y are real numbers. Uh, B to the power 0 is 1. B to the power 1 is B. B to the power X plus Y is B to the power X times B to the power Y b to the power x, y is equal to b to the power x to the power y, or b to the power y to the power x, the same thing. 
a b to the power x is a to the power x times b to the power x. Now, if x and y are rationals, the proofs are really simple, comes from the definition that we introduced at the very, very beginning. But if x and y are irrationals, the proofs are a little bit more complicated. Now we need to talk about logarithms and I don't want you to be scared. So many students are scared of logarithms. So here is the definition. Y is equal to log base B, B is the base, X is equivalent to X equals B to the power Y. X equals B to the power Y. Once you understand this, then things gets to be really easy for you. Now, B and X are positive integers, and we're assuming here B is greater than one, is the base of the logarithm. Uh, most commonly used bases are E, 10, and 2. Here are examples so you can understand the concept. Log 4 to the power 64 is 3. Why? Because 4 to the power 3, the base of the power 3 is 64. Log 2, 32 is 5. Why? Because 2 to the power 5 is equal to 32. Log 4, 2 is 1 half. Why? because four to the power one half is equal to two, square root of four. Log eight, eight is one, because what? Why? Eight to the power one is eight. Log 10, one is zero. Why? Because 10 to the power zero is one. Log two, negative five is undefined. Why? Because two to the power y is never going to be equal to negative five for any y. Log 1, 2 is also undefined. 1 to the power y cannot be equals to 2 for any y. So th that's why we're assuming that always the, uh, um, the uh, back here that x must be positive and b also uh, positive greater than 1. Here uh, are the uh, graphs of these functions. Uh, 2 to the power x is this increasing function, positive, always positive. That's the exponential function. Uh, and this is the log 2x. And if I don't put a number here, it's assumed log 2. And in uh, computer science, we mostly we use uh, base 2. So you, uh, So now in general, log bx is a function from r plus into r slowly increasing function for any b greater than one all log uh, logarithm functions pass by this point here and they all look the same they all look the same when the base is greater than one and all exponential function whether it's to the power x e to the power x 10 to the power x they all look like this and they all pass, pass by here because when x is zero, you get one. When x is zero, you get one. Here, when x is one, you get zero. Properties of algorithms. Now we're going to assume b greater than one, c greater than one, x positive and y positive. Log b one is zero. Log b to the power b is one log b x y is equal to log b x plus log b y log to the base base b x over y say log b x minus log b y log b x to the power y is y log b x and this is a formula for change of base log b x is log c x over log c b these properties, all of them, they follow directly from the, the property of exponentials that we did at the very beginning. Let's prove a couple of them. Let's prove log b x y equal log b x plus log b y. Okay, I'm going to call this p and this q. So log b x is p, meaning x equal to p, b to the power p log by equals to q that means 
y equals b to the power q, straightforward from the definition. Now, if I take these two and multiply them, x, y is b to the power p times b to the power q, and this is the property of the exponentials we just did earlier, that's b to the power p plus q. And then from the definition of the log, log b x y equals p plus q. p plus q. Here is another uh, one that change of base looks, look how we can do that. I need to prove this. And what first I did is I multiply these two here. So I put log cx equals log bx times log cb. So I call this p, I call this q. Now from this definition, this is p meaning x equal to b to the power p. This means uh, b equals c to the power q. b equals c to the power q. Now x is b to the power p and b is this so i can replace b by this value right here and then i will use also one of the properties of the exponentials and i will say i will get x equals c to the power p q now the, uh, using the definition of logarithm uh, log c x equals to p q so log c x is equal to b p q Question, which is bigger, log 1910 or log, log 1019? All right, very simple. Log 1910x, meaning 10 is equal to 19 to the power x. And clearly this one is, clearly when you look at this, x must be less than one. Here, log 1019y, meaning 19 is equal to 10 to the power y. Now, when you look at that 10 to the power y is equal to 19, then y must be greater than one. So x less than one and y greater than one. Therefore, log 1910 is less than log 1019. And that is the end of exponentials and logarithm. Thank you and see you later.